Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I did these super cute hollow mermaid nails, so stick around if you're interested. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is apply my base coat, and I am using Unce Peel Off Base Coat for these, so I can peel them off and see them. And I'm just going to go ahead and do one coat and wait for it to dry before going on with the next step. So this is going to be the base for our thumb, pointer finger, and pinky, and it's Essie's in the cabana. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my first coat. And for my accent nails, I'm using Cupcake Polish's Mermaid You Look, and this is a gorgeous teal linear holographic polish, and I just took a bottle shot for you guys to see how gorgeous it is. And so on my middle finger and ring finger, I'm just going to go ahead and paint my first coat of this gorgeous polish. And now I'm just going to go ahead with my second coat for both of the polishes. And I believe that they were both opaque in just two coats. Here I'm just taking a cleaner brush just to quickly clean up some of the nail polish that I got on my cuticles. And I'm just using pure acetone for this. Next I'm just taking a quick dry top coat and I'm going to go ahead and apply one coat to all of my nails. So these are all the stamping items that I use. The Bundle Monster BMXL211, Born Producer Black Stamping Polish. I use a simple Born Pretty Store scraper. This double sided stamper is from Born Pretty Store. And it's super squishy. Both ends are super squishy and it just opens up and you can also remove the back. So I'm also going to be using this other Born Pretty Store one that I have. And also this captions one, but I'm going to be using more as well. I'm just not going to show you guys them. So basically, I'm just taking the Born Pretty Star stamping polish, putting it on the mermaid scale design of the plate, scraping, and then I'm going to take my stamper and go ahead and pick this up. And this is going to be for our thumb, pointer finger, and our pinky. So I'm just taking this old Starbucks gift card, and I'm going to use this to put my polish on it that I'm going to need. And I'm just using a standard dotting tool to fill in what I need. So here is my image and it picked up really beautifully. Don't worry about the sides because we're not going to get that on our nail anyways. But I'm just going to take the dotting tool and the polish and I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of the scales. Now you don't want to fill in all the scales because you obviously want to be able to see the teal cream polish underneath. But you do want to go ahead and fill out enough that you do get a really sparse, scattered, hollow look all over your nails. And so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the entire design the way I want. And then I will show you guys the next step. So taking the same stamping polish, I'm just going to go ahead and put it over the design that says the mermaid life and that's going to go on our ring finger so I'm just going to scrape it and pick it up. And again taking that Starbucks card and just blobbing my polish on there. So here is our crisp image and I'm just going to go ahead and take that teal cream polish and I'm going to fill in the little shell part because we want to sort of accent the cream with the over the hollow. And then for our middle nail, we're going to go ahead with this larger shell image. And we're going to do the same thing. Put the polish down, scrape, and then stamp.
and then essentially doing the same thing, taking that polish and filling in the shell. Once you're done with everything, you can leave these to dry. To make these stick, I'm going to be using Yellow Stopper on top of all of the nails and I'm just going to go ahead and apply one coat and what this does is it dries really tacky so your dried reverse stamping will just stick right on. This is the ring finger so I'm going to go ahead and take that Thumb Mermaid Life design and I'm going to stamp it right on and thanks to my clear stamper I can see exactly where I want to place it and just press it down once I find my design and then you're going to have your image right on your nail and I think I kind of ruined the life part but I didn't go ahead and fix it. So for all the cream nails we're taking our scales and just pressing it down. And so for my middle finger I am taking that shell image, the larger one, and just like I did with the ring finger I'm just going to go ahead and find exactly where I want to place it and I'm choosing the corner and just press it down and you're going to have your shell on your nail. So for me that's still a little too plain for an accent nail. So I'm taking this mermaid design on the same plate. I'm just going to use that and position it slightly over the shell so that it looks like the mermaid is finding the shell. And I'm taking that same quick dry top coat that I used before and I'm going to go ahead and do one coat on all of my nails. And there you have the final results. I just loved how these turned out and the hollow is so gorgeous. I will definitely be trying to upload more on a regular basis, so if you guys want to see me upload more, please let me know, and please do subscribe if you like this video.